on this episode of Average Professional Sportsman. We're in North Carolina and we're going on a squirrel hunt. But this is no ordinary squirrel hunt for us. We have the privilege of hunting with two world champion squirrel dogs known as OBX Goldtooth and 2020 Slick. These dogs are really good at hunting squirrels and I can't wait to see them do it. Stay tuned because it's going to be a good one. I got a bunch of summer sausage and some snack sticks from that buck I shot a couple weeks ago. I tell you what, they're good. These are cheddar cheese and jalapeno. But anyways, today we're going to go squirrel hunting with two of my dad's friends. I haven't met them, but they seem like they're awesome guys. I know they're awesome squirrel hunters because they do a lot of competition squirrel hunting and whatnot. So I'm very excited to meet them because that's awesome. And we're going to go out on this uh, bunch of land we got here at the hunting club. And we're going to try to kill a mess of squirrels today because we need some for the freezer. And it's one of the most fun things you can do is hunt squirrels with dogs. So we're going to get after it today. Stay tuned. That's mostly hard oaks. And then just the um, okay. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about just starting right across the road, park on the side of the path, and drop into here. I mean, it's, it's, it's pines, but they're tall and thin. You can kind of, but I. Hey. And the man says, "Yeah, I'm going here, and they know it's supposed to be in two weeks." Now when I said that these dogs are world champion squirrel dogs, that is no exaggeration. These dogs have hunted all over the country in states that I've never even been to. They have treed more squirrels than I've ever seen in my lifetime. It is truly an honor to get to watch these dogs do what they do best. Here you go. That's a, that black mouth I got, 200 yards, you pivot and come back. Right. 200, it, it, um, well, I believe it was a fox. It looked bigger and blacker. He had ground though. Looking to see if he go back up. Hey, all I ask is if I can get him tied before y'all shoot. Oh yeah. Right, hey, y'all tell us the rules. We'll play by them. And he said you wanted to kill a fox squirrel, so you shoot the first one. As, as long as as long as I get my hands on him and tied, y'all good to shoot. I don't care. No, I ain't. If you want to shoot one, take his yeah, you, you from it. You whack one. It ain't nothing to me, boy. All right, now. He's still up there. He's coming down. I got him right here on this side. I see him. Day. Yeah. 
Pack them up. Let's get on another one. First squirrel down within within about five minutes, and the other dog's already gone off and treat another one. I got him. Go ahead, honey. Yeah, take him. Hit him again. He's still there. He's on the back side, I He's still there. I see him. He moved around the other side. He moved around a little bit after my first shot. I can only see his tail now. Number two. Sweet. We're getting them done. Slick treat about 200 yards that way. Right here. I already got another one treated up. Now I know why these dogs are world champions. They put in the work. Woo! One of the obstacles that we run into while squirrel hunting is having trees that are hollow on the inside or a tree with a big hole in them. If the squirrel gets into the tree, we can't get to them, and he knows that. He's not coming out until we leave, so it's easier to just move on and find another squirrel. So Mr. Bryan, he said that dog was 500 yards. What's the farthest y'all would have one go out and tree like that? Over a mile. Over a mile. Goodness oh, gracious. Goodness gracious. You can't harm it. I mean, everything's going to be right to hear them, but yeah. go, you know I mean? So can you tell that he's treed just by looking at that, if he's just staying put in one spot? It'll makes give sense. you an alert. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You just, in a hunt, you just can't tree them off of this. You got to hear them. Everybody else got to hear your dog. Mm. So they don't actually go to it and look at them? What's that? In a hunt, do they go to them and look at them? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got a, a judge. Uh, yeah. Then go all the way down to this cut over, and then everything is ours from here on down. I just cut them that way, man. Yeah. I did have a foot back about hundred yards. Here you go. I'm set. Get in yard. Look at this bush that dog had to squirrel. Yeah, go for it. I think you hit him. Yep. Thank you. 
Third one down. It's a good boy. Hold on, Brown. I'm gonna turn this dog loose. So I have to look. Oh, yeah, I see him. You see him? Yeah. I'm ready when y'all. Let me shoot the other one. I'll let Hunter shoot the other one. You got him, you got him. There he is. Yeah, I think I got gut shot. Look at them jerseys. Beautiful. Yes, they are. Yeah. Oh, he's a nut. Got that brain. Pretty fair. Yep. Look at that. I knew I hit him. I'm like, that young dude hit like I didn't even shoot him. That one ain't. That's a pretty one there. There it is. Thank you. That big old brown noggin, the white nose. I don't even know where I hit him at. I don't know. It's a good shot. I hit that one. I hit him yeah. too far back. Yeah. Somebody's tucking them. Oh, you want to put them in? Yeah, here? I got them. Sweet. Two fox squirrels down. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. I don't like killing coons to my squirrel, though. Really? It can make them change, you know. If they get to where they like them coons. Oh, they'll form a habit? Oh, yeah. I can see that being frustrating when you're competing. <laughs> For squirrels. Yeah. Do you travel a lot for these competitions? Oh yeah. How far do you go usually? I average about six hours. As far really? as I go is about 14. Goodness gracious. Is that like a countrywide thing or is it just like mostly southeast? Uh, as far as Michigan and a south and a southwest is Texas. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, about as far as I go is Arkansas out there. Really? You have your favorite favorite state to hunt in? Ohio. Ohio? Why it's Ohio? Just like this. Is it just like this? Minus the pines uh -huh. and more fence rows and okay. um, hardwood. I got you. That's pretty cool. And flat, man, you think that's flat? That ain't flat. <laughs> Ohio is flat, flat. Really? What part of Ohio are you going to? Because I've the southern part is a little mountainous. Yeah, uh, no, we're right up above that. We are about an hour south of uh, Cincinnati. Oh, okay, I got you. He's either gonna be in the trees on or he's set. Bust up. Yeah, it's a cluster of them. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's moving. There he goes. Woo! He gone. I can't believe you found that joker. I sent him right up the tree that second <laughs> shot. I can't look I didn't even see him. I'm glad you saw him. Heck yeah. Good deal. Good boy. Well, we took ourselves a, uh, a brief water break. We put the two dogs away that we've been running. Uh, give them some rest. And they brought one of their puppies that they're working with and turned him loose. And he's treated up right now, so we're crossing this field. About to go see if he's got one up here. We sure hope so. But we've got six squirrels right now. We treat about nine of them. So been a pretty good day so far it's only like 9 40. let's see what we got here is he up there yep.
trees you're soaking out. Smoked him. Yeah, he's hung up. Is he on the tree? The dog's hung? Yeah, he's stuck on the other There he goes. There he goes. He's going down. Nice. Puppy got it done. Good boy. Good boy. Definitely a little bit windier now, but uh, the puppy is treated up again across this field. Uh, Hunter and Zach went to go get the trucks just so we ain't got to walk back so far whenever we start heading out. But right now, me and Mr. Brian are got to go find out what the puppy's got up in a tree for us. We got one. What's that? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I did. Dude, I had that rifle. I think he was hitting in limb. I think he was hitting in limb. You got him, boy. Good boy. You got him. You got him. I bought about a pound of summer sausage and about 20 snack sticks. That's what I'm about to eat is some more summer sausage and snack sticks. Flower Slaughterhouse started making them. Something good and good too. How far is it? 6.46. Oh, Come down and then they go up in the middle of the day. Because you know this squirrel's in there. Oh, yeah. We have five dogs. Oh, good lord. Anybody want some we'll summer sausage? We'll take them out so they don't get too worn down. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. This dog ain't never went that long not got tree. Most time he'd be lied by now. Come get me. So what are you looking at on the key fob there? What? A little fob hanging? This, the time. Oh. I started it when I turned him loose. It's about eight minutes past, what I like. It had been out for 45 minutes and ain't treed yet. What the hell is going on? He's been out for 12, going on 12. <laughs> Y'all got your shotgun, you got yours. I got mine. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Which dog is that that's out there right now? Goldtooth. What's his name? Goldtooth. Goldtooth. Well, Goldtooth has been running for, we say, 12 minutes a little over that. Yeah, way too long. <laughs> he said way too long he's been running, but he's finally treed up a couple hundred yards away, so. Us younger guys are gonna go get him while my dad and Mr. Brian are gonna keep on relaxing for us, but we'll bring back a big old fox squirrel that'll get him fired up. Oh, man. I hope this is a black fox squirrel make dad upset. He won't there. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. We gonna go find out. You got your buck boots on still? Nope. Well, well, we're sending it. I really wish you had your gift today. <sighs> Shoot, I might be able to whack me a wood duck while we're down here. We finally made it down into the swamp bottom where Goldtooth was treed up. After looking at all the trees, we realized they were all hollow and full of holes. Unfortunately, it was the lucky day for this squirrel because there was no way we were going to be able to get him out.
Well, we just pulled up at the fine establishment of Abrams Grill, and we're gonna get a delicious and well-deserved lunch of super healthy southern food. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Please subscribe because it'll help us grow the channel and make better content for you guys. See you next time.